634, a whole lot of jumping and bouncing going on in Waukesha. That's where a new park dedicated to trampolines is opening today. It's bringing dozens of new jobs to the area. Let's check in with Jonah Kaplan, who's been out in Waukesha bouncing around all morning. I'm taking a break now, Vince, but thanks very much because I'm exhausted. But we're here. We want to show some of the exercises here because a lot of people know you got Pilates, you got CrossFit, you got all kinds of crazes. But here we have Bar Barbie Gonzalez, who is a fitness trainer here. And how does this compare? What do we have everyone doing here? Well, we've got Braun over here. He's doing uh, his legs, getting cardio and his biceps going. I've got over here, we've got some back and shoulders along with doing some presses that uh, her legs, she's giving out. She's doing little presses, getting those thighs burning. Then we've got the kids throwing a medicine ball back and forth, getting some core ab work going on. This is a whole unique workout, and I imagine you don't need a lot of time to do it. Oh, no. The, within the hour, everybody's going to be begging for mercy. We do a quick warm-up, and then we'll just uh, hit every muscle group, and then afterwards do a nice cool down, and everybody's going to be thanking me for having them dripping sweat. And when are you going to be doing these classes, and who are they for? They're for all ages. I'll let them in as long as they can follow instruction. And we're doing Tuesday, Thursday nights at 6 p.m., and Wednesday and Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. Excellent. Sounds good. Well, there you have it. So we're not just bouncing around. We are getting a heck of a workout, or at least they are at this time. Here in Waukesha, Jonah Kaplan for today's TMJ4. <laughs> okay, better than the new, right, Jonah? <laughs> and those people at working out are now. probably like, hurry up, we're tired. <laughs> <laughs> Is the shot over yet? Are we clear? <laughs> Next up on Live at Daybreak on today's TMJ4. We're talking about why a 911 operator is in some hot water after what she said during a fairly serious call. Plus, would you risk your